Okay, so I, I think I've cooled down a little bit after the last time. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Ring of Wind. I like this one. We. Uh, so I've done some off-camera grinding, uh, as you can clearly see by the amount of bones that I'm carrying with me. Now, yes, I realize that bones are not actually something that carry over between runs, but I'm not the kind of person that actually is restricted by those those limitations. No, I am I am the kind of person that says, "Oh, look, an uh, an arbitrary value that I can potentially affect." Uh, let's see, is there a way? Yeah, let's see if I can turn down the sound effects, because. Oops. I like the music in this game. I don't really like hearing slash, 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 slash. Oh, there's a rookie mode. Interesting. Didn't see that. I'm pretty sure that's like an easier difficulty. I kind of wish I had seen that earlier. Not that it really matters. I don't necessarily need rookie mode. I just need... I don't have time to grind mode in all of these games. What is, what is even this? I don't know what that move does. I step backwards, I guess. Oh, eh. Grab the Carly and bow. I don't really care. I've got the ability that I can sell these now for money. So, uh, if and when we need to get rid of it, I just can. Is there actually anything over here? No. I wish I wish you could actually explore in this game. That it was a little bit more of a uh, Metroidvania. But alas, uh, do I want treasures? Do I want skulls? You know, I'm going to go for treasures. I actually really like the thief. And I don't feel quite as passionate about switching him out. I'm not, I'm not big on a lot of the the basic skulls. I find them to be quite uninteresting. Um, I actually have... I've got a couple of things to toy around with potentially today. Uh, so, super obviously, I got 777 bones. Uh, there is no way to start a run with this number. I just cranked it up because I want to see what, like, the high-tier, high-upgraded skeletons are like. I, I don't really care about balance. I really, truly am here to have as much fun as possible with the time that I will be playing this. Assassin Dagger increases crit rate by 10%, attack speed by 25%, movement speed by 15% for speed skulls. I am a speed skull, so I feel like we're going in the right, uh, right direction for this character. Whoa! Yeah. This is why I do the things that I do. And I apologize if that ever comes off as uh, offensive, that it is somehow, like, ruining the experience for other people. But, like, I'm having way more fun this way. Uh, and the thing that made me realize this truly was that run with the, uh, the Arc Lich skull. It's just like, hey, what if this game was actually just really fun? And it's like, yep, all right, I'm down for it. So increases magic attack. Nope, increases physical attack. Yes, and generates gold. Well, we've already got the Carlian bow. I I think I'm going to go for the Carlian insignia. Let's just go let's go finances. Hello. Water skull. Admittedly is power based, but I'll take it. Okay, so what are my abilities when dealing damage to enemies with normal attacks? Gains charge in the form of moisture. When charges are full, consumes the charges and unleashes a wave that drags enemies around. Tackle dashes are considered attacks, cannot dash consecutively. Uh, rising Tide creates a rising tide that pulls enemies towards itself, dealing magic damage. Fun! I probably should have also taken a look at this, but I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Okay, you. We... I am the Bone Man. You cannot stop me. It's slashy, slashy time. Whoops. Stay the heck away from that. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so the meta progression, while it didn't feel particularly interesting looking at it on... Uh, let's see. Well, it didn't feel particularly interesting. Uh, let's see. When I was looking at it, it does actually make a fairly noticeable difference. Honestly, it's actually the crit rating that I think is the uh, the biggest immediate difference here. And maybe the... Uh, 
Maybe the class-based skull bonuses. Okay, and I do, what, 40% extra physical damage? Like, you can't really deny how effective this this is. Though, uh, the Arc Lich still melted him faster. So we've got Skeleton Shield. We've got Cobalt. Increases physical damage. Ooh. Strikes an enemy with a Cobalt's pickaxe, dealing physical damage and acquiring gold, or Fire Spirit Salamander. Nah, let's go physical. Let's just, let's just pump it. Pump it up. Okay. So I've got 10 bones to upgrade this. Alright, I am now better thief. Can I keep awakening this one? 30 bones? Yes. Okay, this is actually really cool. I, which is part of the reason why I'm kind of grumpy about the bones not carrying over. Because I really feel like these should be potentially even more expensive, but the upgrades are permanent. Because that would feel so much better. Okay. Now let us see. What is Maximum Thief? Oh, that's swank looking. Okay, Outlaw. When attacking enemies, 20% chance to gain 3 gold. Gold fallen from enemies explodes, <laughs> dealing magic damage. Uh, slashes its dagger while invulnerable, dealing damage. 3 gold from afflicted enemies, 1% chance to gain 100 gold instead. When attacking an affected enemy within 5 seconds, gain 1 gold. Whoo! Alright. So, I think uh, the other the other thing with me messing around with this is I'm gaining a greater appreciation for how this game works. I... Uh, that... You know what? I don't know. How many... How many of you guys watch... I mean, I mean, this is kind of obvious, but... I assume a number of you guys watch... Ow. Uh, watch movies, of course. Let's see. When you watch a movie or a TV show, how many of you guys actually... Ooh, another speed skull. Uh, how many of you guys actually... Oh, nope. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I don't want to... There we go. I don't want to lose my... My super speed skull there. Okay, haven't watched a movie in years. Damn. I... Oh, I have to be, like, right up and next to them to pull off the cobalt hit. All right. Uh, let's see. But... I'm one of the people that actually appreciates most movies more if I'm if I look up the ending first. It's weird, I know, but there's there's some level of just like I knowing the twists ahead of time means I can appreciate them better. Let's see, want to see what the upgraded samurai skull looks like. We'll get there. Increases physical attack by 30%, swapping to power skulls. Eh. I'm not really big on the uh, Power Skull thing. I'm probably not going to play as them, but I'll take the extra physical damage. We're just, we're going to just hit really hard. Ghoul, power. Oh, yeah, we've done Ghoul. We've seen what that looks like. Despite the fact that we're a Thief Skull, we're not actually making that much money here. I guess I should just be using that ability a hell of a lot more. It's weird. Like, I like playing video games blind for the most part, but movies... And maybe part of it is just that I've been burnt by, like, a lot of movies over the years where it's just like, Man, this movie seems like it's gonna be great. Never mind, it was terrible. Uh, so the other night we were watching The Rocketeer, and it was just bad. And so, like, midway through, I looked up the plot of the movie, and it was just like, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I'd already seen the movie before, so I pretty much knew everything that was going to happen. But, uh... There we go. But I looked it up anyway, just to kind of refresh myself. And I'm not going to lie, my experience with it improved drastically. That it was suddenly much more tolerable, because... I guess I just wasn't wrapped up in the, like, man, this is just horse garbage. It seems a bit too easy now. The forest was always too easy, though. The real question is, how easy is it going to be once we start getting to the later zones?
Because, yeah, I definitely would agree. Too easy now. I think what I would do uh, to balance this out with how I'm currently playing it is I would probably limit myself to one upgrade per Arachna. And honestly, I think that wouldn't be a terrible Arachna, Arachne. Uh, I don't think that would be a terrible setup anyway. I've also managed to stack a bunch of physical-only upgrades. Rocketeer is a movie I loved as a child. I enjoyed it quite a lot. I, the main issue that I had with the Rocketeer was that the main character was dumb as, like, a thousand bricks. It was really, really painful to experience. Eat pickaxe. Ow. I do really appreciate that I am just exploding into exploding this guy into sh showers of money. But yeah, definitely too easy for what I'm currently doing. I'm still taking a ton of hits, but uh, it's not that surprising. But for at least at least this run, we're going to go all out just to see like how goofy we can get and how far we can go. Increase the physical attack by 20%. Yes, this is the other reason why I'm super busted. I've only managed to find items that increase my physical attack by X percent, which is turning me into a downright monster. Like, this increases my attack speed. This increases my crit rate. This increases my crit rate and attack speed and movement speed. Uh, this one's not as useful. This one increases my physical attack. This one gives me money. And increases my physical attack by 3%. And this increases my physical attack by an additional 20% and crit rate by 7%. Like, sure, this guy is strong. But you cannot deny that I'm currently rolling an incredibly uh, solid combo of abilities. Okay. Samurai. Oh, looks like the Samurai is on about the same tier as the Rocker. Okay, so this is Max Samurai. I gotta give it credit. Like, they really did manage to make the skulls look really cool. Okay, so that didn't do much damage. That did. That did plenty. Okay. So, I'm taking a lot more damage. Ow. I'm taking a lot more damage now. I think a lot of it just boils down to, I'm not used to this area. Wind dashing creates a magic mass. Magic mass explodes after a certain amount of time, dealing magic damage. Increases skill down, skill cooldown speed. That's really good. Okay. Thank you, exploding money. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just gotta not play like a fool. That's the other thing. Hello. Dude, man. Now, I think this guy just increases my, you guessed it, probably physical damage. Yup. Uh, let's see. Did I hack this game? Oh, yeah. I really should probably just put it into, uh, into title and just... I'm a Neo Samurai. I should probably look at the abilities. Uh, but I, I should probably put it into the stream title that I'm absolutely just hacksing. Anyway, uh, Neo Samurai, true meaning of the sword acquired through a lifetime of battles. <laughs> Skull always carries single slash when attacking enemies, leaves a mark and fills up the gauge. When the gauge is full, uh, skill changes to full moon slash. When swapping, performs multiple slashes, dealing physical damage. Single slash, charges for it, slashing enemies in the path, sheaths its weapon, dealing physical damage. All marks disappear when the weapon is sheathed, and skill damage is increased greatly based on the number of marks. Cooldown time is reset after hitting an enemy with the most amount of marks. Quick Slash performs multiple slash attacks can, that cannot be seen due to their speed dealing magic damage. Alright, fair enough. Uh, 
Yeah. I thought he was just gonna hit. I'm not used to the a lot of these enemy patterns, unfortunately. Okay, what do we get? We get the hunter skull. Nah. Give him them bones that I'm not going to use. Alright, so now I've got tons of money, which is good. Uh, let's see, Frost Skull, which I have liked in the past, but I don't care. Restores health every skill, or every couple of kills? Yes. Attack speed? Kind of, yes. Bun attacking with normal attacks throws a ninja star. Wait. That's just... Okay. These are all really good. Uh, let's get rid of the explosive ointment, because I don't need that as much. And I think I'm going to get rid of this one. As decreasing cooldown, skill cooldown speed, maybe is actually real good. Uh, a little bit of healing. Mad attack speed, no. I'm going to go for these two. Okay, so... One HP every three kills. It's not much, but it's probably still really good. And I guess I'm just going to be hurling mad ninja stars. Wow, getting six sprint makes you stupid. Madness is also really good. But oh well. Uh, let's see. Onwards we go. Oh. And because I'm going to be critting like a crazy man... Uh, let's see. Stay away from that for a second. Got him. Because I'm going to be critting like a crazy man, we're just going to be chucking mad ninja stars left and right here. Alright. Honestly, let's just go accrue money. I don't really know what I'm going to invest in at this point. There we go. I'm getting better at this room. Hello, sir. Who do you have here? Wait. Is this some kind of weird painter boy? Hello? Little Gus. Thank you for saving me. I'm an attendant from the kingdom of... Ow! Rude. Yeah, the problem is these guys hang out on the bounce cushion, so it's hard to get to them. Okay. Oh, little friend, are you planning to help us again? Uh, gold? Sure. Thank you. Oh. They give me items. Well, alright. If you find a big bone pile with a cross, it'll have a legendary skull. Good to know. Yeah, will the power of infinite bones and all the upgrades be enough to reach the end? I'm sure once I know what I'm doing, yes. Okay, stay away from that for a second. All right, I forgot. I've got ranged attacks. Aha! Your ninjas, your ninja skills are weak. I find them lacking compared to my own. <laughs> I don't know. I'm having fun. Uh, let's see. Werewolf? No. Carlion armor? I... I don't think we put any points into Leonia. Uh, give me money. Okay, so unfortunately we're capped out on skulls and we can't upgrade these any further. So we're just going to keep rolling. What I should probably do is actually put away... Uh, like, just start cycling out my skulls. Okay. Oh, this guy's a healer. Got it. But yeah, just... 
cycle out a bunch of my skulls and keep using the upgrade thing just to see just to see like what is good because it is nice to know that the basic skulls when they get upgraded become obscene too that's that's an encouraging aspect to this i mean hell i'll probably even turn off the uh oh there's still an enemy here i'll probably even just turn off the endless bones after this run and we'll just try and play that legit hey thank you aj buddy for the 30 month resub we I'm still going to attribute an amount of this purely to just RNG being way in my favor on this this round. And I've had a little bit more time to I I've noticed this sometimes with games that I need like a 24 hour period to actually get good that you know just throwing my head at the wall uh repeatedly is unhealthy for me. Okay, let's get rid of these guys. I know I want to kill the maids, but it's a lot tougher. This guy's here. Bye. Thank you for that money. Whoops. There we go. My abilities are definitely stronger, though. Oh, there's still more foes. I'm back. I wish to harm you. Ah! I'd do it. Okay, what else do we got? Ninja Mask. Amplifies damage dealt from behind. Eh, that's good. Trap damage. Eh, that's good. And the standard issue Carlian Sword increases physical attack by an additional 20%. Raises March and Duel. I think we mainly want to focus on Sprint. Demolition is amazing. When dealing physical damage, deals an additional true damage. Deals additional true damage equal to. I uh, up to 170% physical damage. Oh, but it's only once every eight seconds. That's not as useful. March wouldn't be terrible, actually. Just investing in that. But I like sprint for just madcap attack speed. We'll have to see. Yeah, check the quintessence. Ooh, that is a fancy looking one. Um, Increases magic attack. It looks good, just not for this set of skulls. Getting murked by a bunch of maids, as usual. Unfortunately, she's hanging out directly on top of a trap. I guess switching to the samurai for the extra range is not a terrible idea. Ow. I'm taking hits left and right. I'm just tanking them so much better. <laughs> Okay, those have limited range. Thank you. I thought I jumped, but I guess I didn't. Man, like I said, I'm just tanking way more hits than I should be. Okay. There we go. Thank you, HP Barrier. You are a credit to team. Let's keep going for the loot rooms, just in case we get goodies. I'm going to stay the heck away from you. Because everything you're about is spooky. There we go. Real bad with the archers, but we do seem to be healing really well, so I guess it doesn't matter. Ice scale spalders. Upon attacking with a dash attack, 30% chance to inflict freeze. 
I'd normally be disinterested in this one, but it does have Sprint, which is what we're trying to invest in. So I think I'm going to get rid of the standard issue Carlion Bow. Oh. No, I just get, got rid of two. Well, you know what? Whatever. It There was no sound effect or reaction to me selling the first item, so I'm like, did it work? And the answer is apparently it did. I just didn't notice and sold something else. Whatever. Well, at least we don't have to talk to him a second time around. I appreciate that. Hello. What? Uh. It's not the best quintessence in the world. Ow. I was behind her? Thank you. Okay. That'll do it. Well, there goes one. Other one's pissed. Let's stay the uh, heck away from that one. Hello, she's real mad. Hi, real mad. Ow. Ow. Oh, I died. Whoa, that did some oomph. Okay. What the? Leona! Leona, what happened to you? You dogs! Hey, get back on your feet! Who is he? How does he have the power of dark quartz? Drat! Hero! Where's the hero? That worthless fool! He's never around when I need him! Something's wrong! He's... What's going on? Well, that hurt. Uh, I guess I'll grab it, seeing as I got rid of the other one. I'm confused. Can you save bones? No. I... I did a thing. It's sheets for fun. Yeah, it's... It's one of those I where... Oh. It, it's one of those where I knew I wasn't going to enjoy this game. In its default state. And so I figured instead what I'd do is just throw on some hacks, actually enjoy myself, and then uh, I, not necessarily move on, but tweak it until it feels like it's a, it's a, the right level for me. I'm curious about rookie mode, but considering I got kind of clobbered by the boss there, admittedly on my first second fight, I don't know. I just like cheating in games. I, 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 what can I say? It was a beautiful day. It hadn't been long since the peace treaty with the humans was signed, so I headed to Carlian Castle. The fact that the peace treaty 
proceeded without a hitch was quite suspicious, so I felt the need to look into it. In Carlion, the totally unnecessary banquet was underway. Many people were gathered in one place, but for some reason, none of them looked happy to be there, as if they were dissatisfied with something. In order to find out why, I hid myself among them and listened in on the conversation of someone that looked like an officer. They looked pretty serious, so I figured I'd be able to gather some information. However, it was a waste of time. All they did was ridicule and mock the first hero. They looked like the type, prone to envy and jealousy. Petty humans. Why don't humans change? Tired of their misery, I tried going elsewhere. That's when I saw the little boy. He looked rather angry. I think he watched as they mocked the hero. He always looked up to the first hero, his idol. The man went somewhere else after talking, but the boy followed him. Is he trying to get back at him, or maybe trying to ask him to apologize to the first hero? If it were anybody else, I wouldn't have cared at all. But after hearing what the Demon King had said about the boy, I was a little curious, so I tailed him from behind. The man the boy was after didn't go back to his home, but instead went to the deeper ends of the banquet. He then started doing some things that looked very suspicious. Suddenly, a secret door appeared. The man looked over his shoulder and moved towards the hidden door. A secret door in the middle of Carlion, but for what purpose? In that split second where I was lost in my thoughts, the little boy followed the man and I missed my chance to stop him. He's not even scared. Could he really become the hero one day? I was inspired by his bravery and without even thinking, I too headed towards the door. Yeah, so 99% certain that uh, this is in reference to Skull before Skull died. <laughs> Kid, did you make it out too? They took you as a test subject. Unforgivable, those alchemists. How far did they go with you? Did they place something in your body? 
those who defied them or ran away exploded because of that thing. Keep your eyes open. If we can get past them, we'll be out very soon. What do you mean you're going inside? You're out of your mind. Hold on a sec. I'll go out first and call the Demon King army. Beware of the golems they create. Don't be the first to die. Holy shit, and he dead. Okay, well, I guess we're going through. Hello! Everything is spooky, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. Whoop. I am apparently monstrous. I'm not really sure how I'm doing all this damage, but that's fine. Hello, Drood. Oh, our skeleton has come to save me. That's quite a sight to see. Are you hurt? This place is quite dangerous. You better be careful, especially that man. His followers and everyone else in here are crazy. I'd love to help you, but I'm too weak to do so right now. Alchemists are the worst. I'll get back to the Demon King Castle and res rest up. After that, I'll think of a way to help you out. Hope their blessings be with you. Wait, you don't know about them. You want to know more about them? Please, don't hesitate to ask. This place reeks. Be careful with that man. Now, this is some pretty Resident Evil stuff going on right now. Warrior's Pauldrons. Every 20 seconds creates a wall that lasts for 5 seconds. Nullifies damage received from the front. I'm just going to destroy that one. And let's go for a skull. Let's see if I can get something new. Okay, so we have... Ow! We have a golem down there. We also have ghosts. Okay. Oh! Ow! Ah! Okay, he's the one that does the weird mine. Okay, well, I was doing great for like two seconds and then I'm already back in danger zone. This is going to be a tough one. Alright, Alchemist, Balance. Summons an imperfect dark stone golem every 15 seconds dealing magic damage. Not necessarily big on it, but this guy's okay. Oh, this looks like it's going to be fun. Okay. You dead? I'm not even sure what I'm getting hit by sometimes. <laughs> Alright, I actually have to free this person. Hello, person. I'm free, thanks to you, skeleton. We tried to confuse the enemy by striking them from behind, but there are too many of them. Should have been more careful. I'd like to repay you for saving me. Do you happen to need these bones? I mean, you are a skeleton. I thought maybe there's something you can do with it? I'll give you some of what I've collected. Bones... Thank you for your contribution. I don't need more bones, but it's nice anyway. Hello. Hello! Ow! The problem is, like... Ugh, I have no idea what half their patterns are. I'm just gonna get clobbered. Probably going to die. Yep.
Okay. Well, I get this skull at the very least. And we can just peace out, because the golem is not one of the enemies I have to kill to continue on. Oh boy. Uh, let's see, what do you got for me? Griffin, extra movement speed. That is nice. Okay. Skills create... Uh, let's get rid of Mirage. Because we want to grab this one. It gives me Sprint. What else we got? When double jumping, drops a bomb. Gives me Soar. Soar is great. Green Swamp Madness. Oh, we're moving to a different map. Restore 5, 10, and 20% lost HP. That's actually really good. Okay, we'll do one more. Trap damage, no. Skill cooldown, no. Wind armor. Dashing distance and dash has a chance of getting rid of dash cooldown. Yeah, let's get rid of the probably Carlian insignia. The extra money percentage is nice, but if I die, then it's kind of all for naught. But now I've got hella dash, which should help tremendously. Yeah, see, I thought that was a black hole they were summoning. Ow. Ow. We. Wow. Okay, that does a little bit more damage than I was giving it credit for. Unfortunately, I think being this guy is not actually going to be that dope. Rude. Oh. I gotta go up and over. I don't wanna do horrid things to these guys. Not actually sure where I took all that damage from. Unless it's that ogre. Or... Wait, hold up. Oh, I see. Wipe the floor with him. Wipe the floor with all these guys. Get out of here. Thank you. My attack speed means I stun. And then it's this guy. Thank you, skeleton. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't know how long, much longer I'd be trapped. Be able to return. Blessing of Magnifico. Sure. Okay, so now I have throw gold. I guess it's okay. I actually think... Okay. Genie. That sounds kind of fun. It at least does physical damage. So I got big sword. Hide it in bottle. When the button's pressed once more, reappears in giant form, throws a punch, dealing physical damage. Oh, well, that's kind of cute. Okay. Y'all need to die. And I will take... Boy, howdy. That's a lot of enemies. I... Don't necessarily know why everything explodes in my face. There's just too much going on. Oh, well. We have mid bass. Oh, it's just a three fur.
Ow, what? Ah, damn it. I... I don't know. I think my whole, like, super boner situation is totally fine. 